Welcome back gamers, this is Winter. So um, in the last video we had kind of unlocked the lumber mill and a few other things. Um, and we had we had basically resolved our water crisis. Uh, between the last video and this video I, I built a few more things and I I tried to move, um, tried to put some entertainment buildings closer to our, my housing because happiness happiness of the colonists was not very high and I also tried to move housing closer to job like the jobs and workplaces I built a bunch of banks here um, not sure if there's anything else I did I built a ton of the water things up here because I was still running out of water but uh, we'll clear these out uh, when we need space we're also really low on aluminum, so may import some aluminum. Um, basically, this this uh, uranium enrichment it consumes one aluminum, one uranium, and it produces two uranium. So it's effectively turning aluminum into uranium, which we need for our power plants here. And later on, you can build a lot of these if you want to basically generate uranium for sale. So, I uh, just want to show you one thing here. This mass driver, um, there's an upgraded version of it called the, let's see the name here, I think it's called Galactic Freight, which effectively it, it allows you to import as well as export, and it changes the quantity of what you import and export to per thousand instead of per hundred so it kind of saves you on some clicking again food prices and water prices are super low these seem to fluctuate quite a bit I guess they're based on market prices so uh, I had sold some 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 stuff through this between the last video and this video just to raise some money so we got 80,000 our payroll is getting close to that so probably gonna have to make some money somehow but the main part of this video is talking about charcoal, wood, charcoal, and oil. So we built this lumber mill, uh, and these lumber bots can build fir trees. So we, it's kind of like building our own ore deposits. We just lay down some trees, and once they're laid down, planted, Once they're all planted, we can send our lumber bots to like harvest them. And this is kind of a tedious way to generate wood. Um, but once you have enough wood, you can build these things here, which are tree farms. And they don't you don't need to make any bots, they just automatically create wood for you. They're pretty slow though, and they take up a lot of space, so they're not they're not great. But what we're trying to do is generate enough wood so that we can burn it in this thing called a charcoal hut. Now the charcoal hut is the primitive version of it, but there's an upgraded version, which is this charcoal factory. Uh, I built a bunch of them here. I just wanted to build a hut to show you what it was, but then I upgraded a bunch of them. And then there's also a charcoal burner, which consumes charcoal and gives you power. But we don't, we're getting power from other sources, so we can just deactivate this. And then there's a um, charcoal compactor, which uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what it does. Uh, <laughs> I think it, let's see, it, oh, it turns charcoal into ore, which we don't need as well. We, you would need it if you were on an Earth planet, because the Earth planet has no ore at all. So we're going to disable that as well. Um, same with the charcoal hut. We don't need these. It was just for demonstration to show you guys. Um, so these charcoal factories are consuming wood and producing charcoal. And to store charcoal, we build these things called uh, charcoal piles. I built a few since the last video. 
they do cost 200 charcoal to make, so you got to kind of accumulate some charcoal and then build one and then you get some storage. And this, once you've got enough charcoal, you can build a synthetic oil lab. It requires 2,500 charcoal, so I kind of accumulated some in the last, between the videos and built a few of these synthetic oil labs to churn char 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 uh, charcoal into oil. And I also built some oil tanks to store the oil right here. And we need oil for, this is all leading up to the galactic freight, which is down here. So the galactic freight requires 250 oil, which we accumulated 600 since the last video. And since I have enough for it, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that mass driver, which is here. Upgrade it. It's kind of a cool looking building. It's like a shipping container with a rocket on the back, kind of. This is a key building in the game because it opens up kind of fast trading, not trading, but fast up, uh, selling and buying. So we import, so we can import everything by per thousand. And we can also sell per thousand. So it just makes it faster, basically. And there's nothing really we want to sell here, so we'll just save it for now. If prices get better for water and food, then we can start selling stuff again. Food is typically, like last video, it was around, or in between videos, it got to 100 per 100. So it, this would have been 1,000 per 1,000. So instead of 10 per 1,000, which is kind of terrible. So hopefully prices come back up so we can sell. Um, so a few other buildings that got unlocked with oil, I believe. Uh, let's see here. I built a lot of fish hatcheries to replace. So these advanced hydroponics, they're decent at making food, but there is a better, the fish hatchery, I built a bunch up in the corner here. They produce a lot of food quickly. So this is kind of your go-to for food near the end of the game. Um, Let's see. We kind of don't have any aluminum, so a lot of stuff is like we can't build. This Galactic Board of Trade, also a very important building, but it costs 850 aluminum, and we don't have the money to actually buy it. This is where you can trade with other players' resources, and you can trade in, in as large as volumes as you want, so it's, it's really good. And we really want to build one of these pyramids as well, takes a thousand aluminum, which we don't have. Basically I have to generate some more cash so we can buy some aluminum, so we can build some of this stuff. There's a potato patch, which is a thing that generates food. Let's just build one for fun. And then we'll destroy it after. But it's, if you're on the earth planet, this is an early way to generate food. But since we have fish hatcheries, this thing is kind of obsolete. But there it is, the potato patch. Let's sell it right away. <laughs> the oil plant um, burns oil and generates electricity. Generates 700 electricity, but we want to conserve our oil for other purposes. And we already have a nuclear power plant, a bunch of them that generates 4,000, and then the hydrogen reactor, which generates 5,500, I think. So yeah, this oil, this is for the Earth planet as you're kind of ramping up. I destroyed some of the motels, which were over here, to, just to make some room, and I, I, I didn't really want to like go overboard with tourism. Uh, we can build a we're kind of low on power, actually. 
need to build some more power. I probably can't afford a nuclear reactor because it takes aluminum, but let's see. Nope. So we might end up in it building some solar panels, solar towers. Not ideal at this point in the game, but it is what it is. Let's build even more solar towers just so we can have a bit of buffer with our power. As usual, I hope to build a bunch more stuff in this video, but we're kind of low on aluminum and we need more cash. So the Galactic Freight Building, or sorry, the Galactic Board of Trade Building generates cash on its own and it generates it pretty quickly. So. We uh, we want to build that as soon as we can, and maybe even more th more than one of them. I'm just gonna build some more banks so we get our cash cash rolling in. One thing I didn't do early on in the video series was uh, kind of build entertainment, hospitals, and housing and jobs all in the kind of a cluster close together, which we really should have done. Um, I mean, I tried to do it later, but because that will keep our, if we go into the stats menu, that'll keep our approval rating higher. It's not too bad right now, 72, uh, but a thousand are angry. So if they had, you know, if their jobs were closer and we can actually go and look at, these are all the angry colonists. So. We can go click on one, look at its stats. So we can see his commute length is 64, which uh, is causing happiness to be really low. So he probably doesn't have a home that's close to his job. And we can run a fire drill to try to correct that, but uh, maybe there's some research we can do actually. Advanced robotics, this is new. I have actually never seen this. Tall construction. Wow, these are new things. Hmm. I see there's a there's a, a UI bug here. This building is too long for this. Anyway, I'll save those for a future video because I don't even know what those do. Um, let's build our banks. government. Governments take cash to build, but they quickly pay it back. make uh, finish up this video um, and accumulate some cash buy some aluminum so we can build a bunch of these aluminum required required buildings um, like the dig site that's a big one we want to build but it takes well it takes 10,000 wood uh, which we can either grow or we can buy and 2,000 aluminum so the uh, the other thing we want to do is this um, Ancient alien language we want to lock or unlock pretty soon, but we need to build some dig sites first to generate alien artifacts, which we'll use. We need 200 to build this ancient language. Once we have ancient language, we can build a 
building that does research but also allows you to purchase artifacts. So it makes it much easier to get artifacts for future buildings. So we'll do that in the next video. So for now, uh, please subscribe if you like these videos. I'll be probably producing a new one every day or so. And uh, please like it if you thought it was good and leave any feedback in the comments if you have any. I'm, I'm sure I'm doing a lot of stuff in the not the most optimal way, but um, yeah, let me know if I, if I can improve things. Okay, thanks a lot.